give all the glory to Jesus and tell of his love and tell of his love we give all the glory to Jesus I want to just share the joy of this Christmas uh, for a long time I hadn't had this Christmas experience at some point I even began um, you know like questioning the relevance of Christmas Day because you know when you get into history truth is that uh, Christ was not born on the 25th of December it's not true when you look deeper uh, in scripture and through history you will realize that things happened along the way and those are the things that brought in the Christmas tree. And when you consider the, the demeanor of people on, on Christmas Day, you really realize that uh, it's mostly Xmas. Christ has been removed um, from the day. And, and it's, um, it's a pagan kind of um, uh, a holiday where Christ is not necessarily uh, experienced and, and given the rightful place. But this year, I'm so thankful for love because I have seen an outpouring of love this year. And I've seen more Christ on Christmas Day than I have done in the last seven years as a child um we, ha we had chicken only on christmas day we had chicken once in a year of course except when a, a visitor comes in and my mama would um, be up in the night you know preparing food for christmas day and of course we would never have that food alone because we always had people coming in and she would say, this chicken, she always said, chickens invite guests. And it's true, we never had chicken alone. And so I grew up and then finally I saw the, the change in the demeanor of people towards Christmas. And I, I almost lost uh, hope in Christmas because I thought, it has lost many, but this year things have been different. And I'm thanking Heavenly Father for releasing himself again, releasing his spirit to remind us of, of Christ and, and his coming. In a relationship, it's always about two ways. It's you reaching out to the other party and the other party reaching out to you and we reach out to God and that is godliness you know we strive to be righteous and we repent and we live by the commandments and God in this one occasion reaches out to us by sending Christ, sending, extending himself to us, Emmanuel, God with us. He's reaching out to man, <laughs> trying to be like man, to understand man, to understand weakness and sin. And it's such a glorious thing that uh, he should enhance the relationship with us, not by just being up there and us striving to reach him, but him reaching down to us and, and giving himself a chance to understand our nature so that he can save us. And it's a glorious thing to know that a God who is so impeccable, who is so indescribable in all the excellencies that uh, describe his persona that he is willing to extend his relationship with us by getting down 
to us through Emmanuel. It's amazing to me. And yesterday when I was in town and we were feeding the street children, I saw a woman come and she had chapatis and she started dishing them out to street kids. I have not seen that. And they were not just like two or three. She had like over maybe a hundred chapatis. It must have taken her a hell of time preparing those. <laughs> and she, she shared those to these men and boys and a few girls who, who wouldn't have had the chance to enjoy a chapati. And I thought, that is Christmas. That is God with us. Love coming down. And I thought that is love coming down to the fallen nature of, of man. And this morning, my neighbor, whom I don't really know a lot, she just came in recently, just knocked my door repeatedly and guess what she brought? She brought me chapatis. And I think these are called, they are called mandazi, they are homemade. And I looked at her. <laughs> and the tear just fell off my face just beholding the wonder of love I pray that this spirit of Christmas will permeate through to the new year that next year we will live Christmas throughout and understand that uh, our joy comes in celebrating the goodness of the Lord in extending himself to us through grace that we will live with eternity in view that his love for us will never leave our thinking <sighs> I feel we have great things before us. And I'm really excited about what I feel God is going to do in our lives. So dear friends, let us be ready to, to rock. Let us be ready to move. For we are founded upon the rock who has come down, God, and cast in clay to understand the properties and the qualities of clay so that he can take the clay to the house of gold. Thank you. making Christ part of your life, for accepting that we have a God in heaven and that fallen as we are in our nature as human beings, we are still the beloved. May this be with you in the year 2020. Yeah.